because our database is on prem is on my machine and i'm going to connect a cloud service power automate to it i need to install a secure channel a secure channel through which they can connect together and that is the gateway and in power automate just navigate to either create or my flows you will see at the top right here you're going to see options you're going to see power automate for desktop and you see on-premises data gateway this data gateway is going to secure it's going to create a secure connection whereby your data your information can flows to that service online from your on-premise uh, system so i'm going to click on on-premise data gateway and the installation will start right now all right so it's been done it's downloading rather and after it's done downloading we're going to configure this um, gateway it is done downloading and if i click this download i'm going to see it a uh, data gateway so i'm going to open it up and it is time to install it so i'm going to just click on accept then click install i'm going to say yes i'm going to say yes again installation completed it is time to set it up so i have to use the email address that is uh, connected to the power to me because that's the gateway that's where the gateway is and for me this is it It's asking me, do I want to migrate, restore, or take over an existing gateway? I actually want to register a new gateway, so I'm going to click on Next. Then, what's the name I'm going to give to this? I'm going to say On-Premise. That's the name, On-Premise. I don't have an existing, uh, this is I will have clicked here, but I don't have existing. So, I have to set a recovery key. which I've done and I'm going to click make sure that your region is important so we we'll use this region to connect the gateway to cloud services this part is very important my current region is South Africa not I need to change my region just to be sure that is my region the same thing with where I am so before you click on configure it can be difficult because if you are selecting the wrong data center it's going to be wrong so I'm going to click on change region and we are changing region you need to select the region so how do you know the region where your um you are actually that is it so what you need to do is um, I'm going to go back here to my SharePoint uh, SharePoint or any of this Office 365 application just go to admin or you ask your admin to get you in case you don't have the admin right i'm right here in admin i'm going to go to show all then under settings organization settings then i'm going to see organization profile and within this profile i will see data location to know where exactly my information are being stored and where these things are all you can see here is european union all right so for all of these guys they are installed in european union so that's where the data center is so I have to select either that data center or one that is close to it. All right. So what is European Union? I'm going to go back here and look for instead of Australia, Australia, Australia Southeast. I'm going to look for something close to Europe. You know, European Union. So there is no European Union, but you can see right there that Europe, either West Europe, is the European Union. So I'm going to select west europe okay right so then i'm going to click on done right i'm going to click on configure all right everything is done so i can't access i can't use this outside my my default environment but this is ready so for powers power automate the region is west europe for logic apps azure analysis analysis services is also west europe all right so we are done setting up our data gateway. Thank you.